Hey guys, long time no vlog. It's nice to see ya. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Sheila. I'm a registered nurse here in Australia and I work at the Dialysis Clinic. And today I'm gonna share with you guys a little um, walk through our lives, especially when we're doing a morning shift, which is a 73 shift. We usually start our shift at seven o'clock in the morning but sometimes we have to come early because our first task of the day, which is the most important task of the day, I would say, is to check the water. In a dialysis clinic, you won't dialyze a patient or you won't start dialysis or even starting a machine without checking the water. That is the cardinal rule. A safe water is safe for dialysis. This is the first responsibility that we have to do early in the morning and make sure that it's safe for our patients. Now, after checking the water, once the water is ready to go and there's a green tick over there, um, we are now allowed to line the machines. Now, our patient ratio here in Australia is four is to one nurse. So one nurse is looking after four patients. You're gonna have to line four machines in that shift. So after checking the water, we line our machines. I'm gonna insert a clip here so that you can see how a little bit of how we line the machine and to make sure we're ready. And after lining the machine, we go around and check our um, colleagues' heparins. This um, task is for making sure that we're checking the medications, especially heparin, which we use during dialysis. Um, and it's checked by two nurses to make sure it's safe to use and make sure that we check the expiry date. Um, the dosage that we are supposed to use for that specific patient. So it's kind of a bit of um, um, also checking each other's work. like. If there's any machine alarming, we go through them and also answer them um, during this preparation time. And mind you guys, <laughs> this is just still seven o'clock. So within this time, we're also checking our patient's progress notes. We're also checking documentations. If there's anything that we have to go through before we hook on our patient or we start dialysis, we have to make sure that they're, they're followed. For example, um, we are supposed to take bloods, so we have to check potassium, we have to check hemoglobin. I know for those of you who are not nurses, this is like a mumble jumble, but this is what we do on a daily basis and hopefully you guys can appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments section if um, you want me to explain further. Otherwise, yeah. And come 7.30, 7.30 is where we accept our first patients. So, we allocate around half an hour for each patient. That's when we do our thorough head-to-foot assessment for our patients. During this time as well, again, we also read the progress notes, make sure we didn't miss anything. For example, if that patient had some complications during previous dialysis, so you have to watch out for that one and you have this kind of um, mental um, preparedness on how to handle if that happens again and make sure that you know we're assessing how much fluid we're taking off and also making sure that they're stable throughout dialysis. It's not just one thing but it's also the other. So that's we go through each and every time and at also this specific um, 30 minute allocation for each patient, we prepare our things for cannulation. Now, dialysis patients do have different access. We call it a fistula. Um, I'm gonna insert a clip here and also a graph and also CVC. So that's what we're accommodating in our clinic. So we prepare our things on how to hook them up. For example, if a patient has a fistula, you have to prepare needles, gauze, saline, and different kind of things that you need in that specific um, access for you to be able to hook the patient on the machine. So hopefully guys, one day I'm gonna share with you what's the things that I'm using, for example, in cannulation, and I can show you like the technique, the sterile technique that I use 
for specific um, preparation. Now, moving forward. So our timeline is now started at 7.30 to 9 o'clock. That's the time that we allocate for four patients. And that's the time that it's the busiest time of the morning because patients want to be hooked on and they're like rushing you to okay right Sheila we're waiting for you where are you and I'm still with another patient who I like to hook on and make sure that everything is organized before I leave them and make sure that they're a-okay so yeah um, at 7 30 to 9 the pressure is on so you have to be very quick that you have to make sure that you did everything for that patient so that's why sometimes we come a bit early for us to make sure that we organize everything prior to commencing dialysis this is what I've said patients will look at you and the pressure is there they want to be hook on so they can leave they can finish the four hours of dialysis or four and a half five hours of dialysis and leave the clinic and you'll be like hmm wait a minute um wait I'm rushing I need to be like a hundred kilometers per hour speed and you can't do that as a nurse I know if you're a nurse comment down below if you're rushing in a way things that way but for me I can't just do that because I know that I'm allo allocated half an hour for my patient that specific patient but I gotta make sure that I'm thorough I'm gonna make sure that everything's safe and I'm gonna make sure that everything is well prepared and well organized and that my patient is stable before um, leaving that patient this is also the time that sometimes you encounter complications and I think I'm gonna go through that in a different kind of video because there's a lot a lot a lot <laughs> so it's kind of a bit overwhelming that first two hours of the shift is kind of like go 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 it's like non-stop but anyway come 9 30 hopefully everyone is set everyone is settled and what we do is we do double check our um colleagues work we do go around um we swap um folders or we swap um data or documentations that for example my colleague is looking after these four patients and I'm looking after these four patients. So we swap patients. I'm going to go through the things in the machine and also I'm going to go through the to check if the patient is correct. As big of a responsibility as that. Because also in the Dallas unit, um, we also have casual shifts. So sometimes um, nurses don't work there full time and they don't know the patients. So making sure that we've got the right patient, making sure, sure that we program the dialysis machine on a specific and patient-centered care for that patient is a safety and a priority. Come 10 to 11.30, that's where we also prepare for medications. There are a few medications that I have encountered working as a dialysis nurse. So we don't have a lot of a variety and like um, nurses in the wards, but we always make sure that we check, double check our medications same as per protocol. So protocol here in Australia, you do have to check medications with two nurses, three better. So you can have, you can double check, making sure that the expiry is good, making sure that it's the correct patient, making sure that it's the correct dose and making sure that it's always safe to give for that patient. And also within this time, 10 a.m. to 11.30, that's when we start our breaks. So see, it's kind of in the middle of an awkward timing because it's like full on, it's always busy. So we try to start our breaks on that time because we want to make sure that we also take a bit of a break from that busy schedule and make sure that we have like a cup of tea. Also, nurses have um, other things to to reconsider for example other nurses also experience diabetes so they have to eat <laughs> and other nurses also have like me who has a small bladder and also want to pee so this is the time that we do that but on a really really busy morning sometimes we can't 
so which is quite um a reality for all nurses out there like this video if you agree with me but yeah i think that's a reality so it's kind of crazy every time and we always try to also look after ourselves for us to be able to look after you guys i just want to add guys that also between um 10 in the morning to 11 30 that's when we keep a close look and monitor our patients because that's where complications happen for example um a drop in the blood pressure bleeding um also seizures sometimes um chest pains other things that can go wrong in that specific span of time during treatment so you have to keep both eyes open ears wide when you're hearing machines beeping so you gotta answer them straight away because you gotta make sure that your patients are okay and they're stable before you can take your break so well that's what i usually do and so moving forward now we reach the 11 30 to 1 o'clock period now this time guys i know i said the start of the shift is busy also the running off is the busiest now why did i say that because this time patients do want to come off they want to go home they want to be with their family and they're tired for the first few hours of that dialysis treatment and they're beat so they just want to come off i want to go out of this clinic and sleep so that's when this busy time happens um so the first patients um sometimes come off at around 11 30 11 45 so there's like if you hook on for patients sometimes there's some patient who has only about 10 to 15 minutes in between um in between their times so they are finishing off at the same time or sometimes some patients also finish off like close to each other like minutes apart so this is also one of the tests for time management so before having that my tip is make sure you go around make sure you check the treatment time for your patients and if they come off together what I usually do is communicate with my colleagues um, sometimes we do swap patients for example there's um, another colleague of mine also have another patient who's coming off both at the same time and we're gonna swap I'm gonna help my colleague and she's gonna help me oh he's gonna help me so it sometimes works like that or sometimes if you're really time crunch and you can't do much about it you can just inform your team leader that you're um, running off a patient 10 minutes before treatment time because this this and that if that patient is stable I suggest you can do that but I totally disapprove of you doing that every time make sure you have a proper time management when running off patients because they have to benefit from the dialysis patients can benefit if they do complete the treatment they're gonna have a good dialysis good cleaning and the fluid removal is done so make sure that you only do that from time to time and make sure that you inform the patient you inform the, your team leader or your supervisor prior to doing that because this allows you as well to um, be secure and gives you that consent coming from the patient that hey I'm running on I'm running you off 10 minutes early and yeah gives you a bit of a time because some patients I mean most of my patients do understand that hey I'm coming off together with this one and together with that one so I might as well go first <laughs> so they're quite considerate and that's one good thing about the dialysis patient not only this is the time that it's hey you want to stop dialysis and terminate all the patients this is also the very tricky part of the shift because the complications happen though to name a few you are managing 
apps, hypertension, bleeding, episodes of feeling flat or unconsciousness. Sometimes patients are able to tell you, like for example, patient will call you and buzz you like, hey, I'm feeling unwell, I'm feeling dizzy, I'm feeling breathless. Sometimes they can, they're able to tell you that. But some patients, especially um, in my experience, geriatrics, sometimes you just go flat and unconscious without even telling you anything. So you gotta keep an eye on them, make sure that they're okay. And if their blood pressure drops, that's also the best indicator for you to stop dialysis or stop fluid removal and just dialyze the patient or clean their blood. And yeah, so it's kind of tricky. You're running off patients and also um, managing symptoms or complications during those times. So you gotta be, as well as that, um, mentally prepared, time managed, and also you just have to have that adrenaline during those times. And as I say, um, based on experience, I've gained that kind of skill over time. So it's not like, okay, I woke up as a great dialysis nurse. No, if you, you come as a dialysis nurse with training, so. Yeah, I believe you can do it. If you're a new dialysis nurse, just go for it, work hard, and also try to update your skills and also try to manage it. Now, lucky enough for, I, I can name a few days that I have good days. So by 12.30, um, I'm able to finish or run off most of my patients and able to discharge them stable but sometimes i finish um at around one o'clock and mind you guys that's just finishing um terminating treatment for my patient not really finish work in a busy 24 unit clinic we have an overlapping shift so um the afternoon starts at 12 30 and as i was saying earlier that was also part of the crunch time so you're basically terminating patients and cleaning the machine in preparation for the afternoon patients. So you have to be on your toes like every minute of it and it's non-stop. You can't, you can't sit down for like a few minutes because this is full on. It's also busy because now um, afternoon staff are coming in and making sure that their things are ready. I'm gonna go through the afternoon shift with you guys on a different vlog and also um, we start accommodating afternoon patients at one o'clock so it's quite like full-on really all right guys we are nearly at the end of the shift so um, by the time it's one o'clock hopefully you guys are finished with discharging your patients and also this is a time that you document make sure that you've done the things that you have to do on that specific day and make sure you discharge your patient stable and during this time as well guys i always encourage you to check your work make sure you have put in the exact details for your patient make sure you have a complete progress notes of what happened on that day and yeah it's also kind of busy because you gotta make sure that you've done things right sometimes you also have to contact doctors you have to contact other allied health professionals like dietitians you refer patients to podiatry you refer patients to um different kind of um people who worked hand in hand for you to be able to care for your patients and yeah here we go so sometimes we're fortunate enough to finish all our documentation and all the things that um we have to do on a morning shift at 2 30 but sometimes it doesn't happen because i'm so busy and you're also this is the time as well that the afternoon shift also needs your help sometimes some patients um they come to the clinic feeling unwell and you get to support the afternoon staff and we're very fortunate enough in the workplace because i've got a really really good colleague and we have a great teamwork and we help each other out for us to be able to organize um, our patient and for us to be able to um, care for that patient on that day so we have best support with our colleagues 
come three o'clock, it's knock off time. Um, sometimes we're allowed to knock off 10 minutes early and that's for our company's um, orders. Sometimes you come out work feeling really, really tired. You feel like, hey, I've done so much today. And sometimes I've checked my steps or you've run like, okay, I've done 5,000 steps by that day. So it's quite crazy. Um, mornings are always crazy. I think the hardest part for me is waking up and going to work. But once I'm at work, I'm like, head on there. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I hope I have um, run through with you guys the things that we do. Being a nurse indeed is not really as, um, as easy as people would like to think. This is um, a calling and I really love profession that you have to look after people before yourself. So it's quite, it's quite a really admirable um, profession. So for you nurses out there, I salute you guys, especially during this pandemic. We are really doing really, really well and I hope you stay safe. Make sure you look after yourself. Make sure you take your breaks, take a pee break and also Look after your families because at the end of the day, we go home to them and we make sure that also we have a life too. Thank you guys. I hope you like this one. Comment down below of your experiences as a dialysis nurse. If we run through by our morning shift, same here in Australia or maybe you're everywhere, everywhere around the world. Let me know what you think of this video. Please do subscribe to the channel, join the Mia fam and also like this video if you do like it. Again, it's Sheila reminding you to inspire like wildfire, dream big dreams, and maybe one day you too can be a dialysis nurse here in Australia or maybe anywhere. Bye. I love you guys. Mwah.